Hi friends, welcome in our channel, WinMath Every Day. And before we proceed to our lesson in this video, allow me to extend our gratitude to all the subscribers and viewers of this channel. Thank you very much and we hope that you continue to support in our quest to help our learners understand mathematics lessons. Now, this time we are going to discuss a transformation of the quadratic function f of x equals ax squared plus bx plus c. Our a, b, and c are real numbers and this a cannot be equal to zero. So, this is our quadratic term, our linear term, our constant term. We have this restriction that a cannot be equal to zero because when a is equal to zero, the quadratic term becomes zero, so the function becomes linear. So, we have this condition that a cannot be equal to zero. Now, our goal is to transform this into this into this form f of x equals a times x minus x squared plus k and our in this form no in this form we will be able to determine the coordinates of the vertex of the graph okay it's easy for us to determine the coordinates of the vertex of the graph of this quadratic function if transformed into this form. And once we have the coordinates of the vertex, it would be easy for us to determine the, the range because in a quadratic function, the domain is simply the set of real numbers. But in terms of knowing the, the range of the quadratic function, you have to really find it okay now in transforming this into this form i will use an illustration in which uh, we have an a value b value and c value because if i'm going to use this in transforming into this form uh, it would be quite confusing Okay, so we will have an illustration uh, in terms of an example. Okay, how are we going to transform that one? For example, you have f of x equals x squared plus 2x minus 2. Okay, for example, this is the quadratic function. Okay, and we want to transform this into a form in which we can easily determine the vertex of the graph. Now, first step, you have to determine the value of A. Now, our A here is equal to 1. If A is equal to 1, it is not going to be difficult. You simply group this quadratic and linear term okay so you will have x squared plus 2x minus 2 what is our goal our goal is to express the terms inside the parenthesis into a perfect square trinomial because once we will be able to trans uh, express this into a perfect square trinomial, we can re rewrite that one as the square of a binomial. Okay, so this one. How are we going to write this into a perfect square trinomial? You will do it this way. So you have x squared plus 2x. So in uh, doing this, we have to apply completing the square. Okay, we apply completing the square. So for this to be expressed into a perfect square trinomial, we will add this by a 
third term, a constant. And how will we get it? The same. You get one half of the numerical coefficient of the linear term, this term. So what is what is uh, one half of two? That is just equal to one. Then raise it to the second power. That is one. Then minus two. But do not forget that in here you added by one. So you subtract here by one. What is the purpose? The purpose is to maintain the expression. To maintain the expression. Although we added it here by one, but we subtracted it by another one. So the expression, this one, remains. If we are going to uh, simplify this. Okay? So these three terms now is a perfect square trinomial. So you can write this one as the square of a binomial. This is just x plus, because this is positive or uh, addition, then 1. The square root of 1 is 1. The square root of x squared is x squared. Then that 1. Then this is negative 3. Okay? So, our our x plus 1 here, equate that to 0. So, you will get x equals negative 1. So, that becomes the its value. Okay? So, the coordinates of the vertex are... Negative 1, negative 3. Okay? So, in terms of uh, knowing the domain and range, so, dome of this function F is the set of all X such that X is in the set of real numbers and the range of F is the set of all of all Real numbers. Okay. The set of all f of x. Or simply, the value of this when x is replaced by a real number such that this uh, f of x is... Now, this is... Our a here is 1. So, it is understood that the graph of this quadratic function opens upward. So, this y-coordinate here is the smallest value in the range of this quadratic function f. So, you will have greater than negative 3. Okay? So, we got the range of this quadratic function f. Let's have another illustration. Okay. Let's have another example. And I'd like to remind that in this quadratic function, in this form, always remember that the A value tells about the opening of the graph. If this A is greater than 0, it means that the graph of the parabola opens upward or the graph of this quadratic function opens upward. So, the y-coordinate of the vertex is the smallest value. And if this A is less than 0, it means to say that the graph opens downward. So, the y-coordinate of the vertex is the largest value of the range of the quadratic function. Okay? And its k are the coordinates of the vertex. Now, let's have another illustration in which our A is greater than 0. Or it's 2. In the previous example, we have A value that is equal to 1. So, again... The graph of this opens upward. Okay? So, the y-coordinate of the vertex is the smallest value of this quadratic function z. Now, applying completing the square, we have to transform this into this form. So, first step, you need this way. Okay? Group the quadratic and the linear terms. 2x squared minus 4x plus 1. What's next? Make this equal to 1. How will you do it? You have to place it outside here. Outside of this grouping. So you will have 2x squared minus 
2x plus 1. You might, you might ask from negative 4x, it becomes negative 2x. Why? Because if you are going to apply, distribute, if you are going to distribute this, you will get the same expression. So, we do not change the expression, although we change the, the, the form. Okay. Next, 2 times x squared minus 2x. So, we will add a term inside the parentheses plus 1. What will be that number? So, the same. You get 1 half of negative 2. What is that? That's negative 1. Raise it to the second power. So, in making this a perfect short trinomial, the term here is just the square of 1 half, the numerical coefficient of x. So, 1, uh, negative 1, raise it to the second power, that is 1. Now, in here, since you added here, you have to subtract an amount right here. What will be? that number. Do not forget that there is an A value. So, it means to say that you have to multiply this one by 2 so that the expression remains the same. So, what will be subtracted here is 2. That is because 1 times 2. Okay? So, you have now, this is a perfect word trinomial. You can write it. x minus 1 squared. Then, 1 minus 2, negative 1. Okay? So, it's easy now to determine the coordinates of the vertex. So, you have x minus 1. So, x equals 1. Equate this to 0, then solve for the value of x. That x value, this x minus 1 equals 0. So, x equals 1. So, this is now the x-coordinate of the vertex. And this k is the y coordinate of the vertex if you like our video please subscribe and if you have some topics you'd like us to discuss in our channel please write it in the comment section stay safe